in this video i'll show you how to get the security role and security role privileges using javascript for a model driven app now just to start with what is the security role so if you navigate to the power platform admin center if you go into the environment specific environment and specific settings uh, under security role you will see whole bunch of security roles which are currently available for your environment now these security roles can be assigned to a specific user so if i just refresh the screen it should list down all the security roles available now as you see over here there are so many security roles which are available and now i can go ahead say take for example if i want to assign system administrator role to someone so i'll just go at system administrator click on members and then from here i should be able to see the member who has a security role assigned i can go ahead and click on add people and then i can assign alex as the system administrator but i'm not going to do that uh, i'm i'll see over here that girish has got a system administrator role now how do we extract this information uh, in a model driven app now why would we need because if you want to set some dynamic permissions within our application this is a very useful information to know what privilege does the user has now there is an, another way through which you can access this information is just by clicking on check access so if you want to see what permission the user has so as you see over here user lookup girish has a system administrator privilege uh, a role basically now there is an another role which is assigned to me named as a basic user as well right now if i go into the security roles and if i go into basic user now within this basic user this is the role if i want to check the members then as you see over here i have basic uh, user role as well okay so this is just to give you a context now how do we do using javascript is i have already created a javascript file and i have already uploaded in my previous example so this is that javascript file named as javascript sample.js now i'm going to write a function okay now here i'm going to write a function which will allow me to basically extract the uh, information of the security role so in order to do that uh, first start with function and i will say uh, get user roles so get user roles execution context now here get user roles uh, we will take help from where form context equal to execution context dot get form context so we're getting the context of that form and then it's a simple process where user roles equal to form context dot context dot get user roles and it's a function basically so form context dot context dot get user role is a function and in order to display the user role i will just put an alert and i'll say this is the user roles and that's a code right so you you're going to get the user role so i'll just make it ready and once you're done with this just save this js now i've already created a solution so this and in the solution i've added this javascript uh, web resource so i'm gonna select the web resource in case you haven't created you can just go ahead and create a new web resource and then upload that web resource in a solution and then hook that web resource function into the model driven app now how do we hook that to a model driven app you open the form uh, of that model driven app and then once you open that form uh, here on load you can start adding those handlers now these are the handlers which i've added previously so i'll just remove that i don't want that uh, on under events so main form events on load add an event handler and select the right file so i've selected this javascript file pass execution context as first parameter and the file uh, the function name is get user roles so I'll just paste this get user roles click on done save and publish and once it is published if i go into the planet application and if i go into one of the record so this is the previous one so this is the previous javascript so let me refresh it again 
and now as you see over here it has given me the user role as something comma something eight five a three and one five a now what does that mean what user role i have okay now this indicates that i have two user role assigned to me the logged in user so it starts with eight five a and one five a now what it is if you want to interpret that you can go ahead and go to the security roles and then the security role say let me pick up basic user now as you see over here the moment i pick on basic user i can see this id 15a89 right so this is that geo id 15a89 let me go over here refresh it and as you see over here 15a89 is the basic user role and 85a9d which is basically 85a9d is basically an administrator so system administrator and as you see over here 85a90 so this is a system administrator role so this is how you basically use javascript to extract the security role what you have for that specific uh, environment or application okay. uh, just by using a simple javascript we were able to extract this information so as you see over here we have made use of form context form context dot context dot get user roles and then we have extracted the user role now this is fine what are we going to do now next is so let me comment this alert okay now there is an another way through which you can extract this information so let me call this as where uh, roles okay where roles equal to form context dot context dot user settings dot roles now this is a uh, user settings is a property basically it will allow you to get all the roles so it is similar to get user roles okay so you can do with the one and the same thing now the benefit of using this approach is now the output of this alert was a guid right now in order to get the details of that guid we need to go into the back end and then check those information right now i'm just showing you another way through which you can extract the user role so where roles is form context dot context dot user settings dot roles and then from here we can uh, iterate through that collection so roles dot for each and you can pick up any variable so let me pick up x for time being and x is uh, we'll iterate through that object and I'll just put a semicolon over here and what, what we want is basically two properties so alert so I'm gonna put alert and say x dot id so which is the id G geo id and I'll just put a hyphen in between and I'll just say x dot name I'll just save this JavaScript file, go back to the solution, select the file again, click on save, and then publish this JavaScript file. Now go back to the module driven app, just do a hard refresh. And as you see over here, this has now taken into effect. So it has given me this ID. And now instead of just going into the backend and identifying what role does it belong to, so what is the name of that? It has given me system administrator role. What we are doing, we are iterating through the user security role, which the current user has been assigned to. And as you see over here, there are two roles, basic user and the administrator. So this is how you basically use JavaScript to you know, iterate through the security rules. Okay. Now there are other things like in terms of security role. Now we have privileges as well. So what do you mean by privileges is uh, 
if I navigate to the Power Platform Admin Center. Now here in security role, as you see over here, say basic user. Now what is a basic user is? The basic user has a miscellaneous privileges and a privacy related privileges. Now, as you see over here, for all the business management category, business process flow, core records, custom tables, what role does the user have? So as you see over here, there is a whole bunch of custom table. Now we pick up one custom table, say take for example, flow session. Now this is the table and these are the set of privileges. Now every privileges has its own GUID. So flow session, as you see over here, it has none for creation, but at a user level, it has a rate privilege. Now, what if you want to extract the security privileges using JavaScript? Yes, even that is possible. So you just go into that same uh, JavaScript. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll be writing a separate function. So I'll just copy the same thing over here. And this time I'm going to say get user roles privileges. Same thing uh, where form context is execution context dot get form context. So this is how you write the function. Uh, and uh, if you want to iterate through the security role privileges, you can again make use of a variable named as where sec prev equal to form context dot context dot user settings say user settings dot security role privileges and with that you should be able to extract the security role privileges now how do you want to uh, see this information so what we will do we can do an alert so here we can do an alert and then the security role privileges can be uh, accessed now this will output a lot of guid so uh, if you want to see each and every guid what you can do is again make use of iteration function so there is an option to do a security privileges dot for each which we did for the uh, iterating through the security role so you just say why so this time i'll take y object you close this as a semicolon uh, and then from here you can actually extract the security privileges details so you can just say alert of y but i'm not going to do that because this will uh, again uh, uh, incur a lot of loop uh, so i'm just just avoiding this part so i'll just comment this for time being control kc uh, but uh, the whole purpose for you uh, to understand is that you can even extract the security role privileges detail. So simple thing form context is execution context should get form context security privileges is by getting to the user settings and security role privileges and it will alert uh, you just gave out the security role privileges details which is basically in the form of a GUID. So I'll just copy this uh, function name, save this JavaScript file go back to the solution select the file again click on save and once it is saved just publish it now we have added a new function so we need to add a new event handler select the right file get user role privileges pass execution context as first parameter click on save and publish So as you see over here, we have loaded the security privileges. So now once you go into the model driven app and you click on refresh, you should see the two security role which has act, which we have access to. One is the system administrator and the basic user. And the third one is all the security privileges which we have, like for the current user has, is listed in this particular alert, right? So it's a huge list over here. And as you see over here, it has already uh, trimmed it but these are the set of guid which highlights the security privileges so 
uh, you can programmatically use it to find which security privileges that user has and then accordingly uh, define your own business logic so this is how you basically use javascript so just to recap what we have done is we have i have showed you how to get the user role user role using a function get uh, user roles or you use a user settings object and then iterate through the the user roles to extract the id and the name along with that we have written a function to get the user role privileges and then uh, listing down all the security role privileges what the current logged in user has thanks for watching